Al Chancery here, June 20th, 2015. And I'm having a stream of consciousness moment where I'm sharing from the heart what I feel is the case. You don't have to believe what I believe. But I believe that these perspectives need to be shared, especially with so much interest on the topic. So the topic is the idea of CERN being used to open up portals. I don't study CERN up and close like other individuals. I don't discount that they're trying to attempt to open up portals or that they already have or that there are other programs going on because in my heart, I do believe that, excuse the, uh, the dirt on the shirt, I've been making my own pizza more and more these days, trying to live more self-sufficiently. In this period of time, in the solar maximum cycle, I'm using the abundance of energy that I've been feeling in my body this last year to move to a place that made me feel happier, to live a simpler lifestyle outside of these dense population centers. Inside of places like Portland, where I escaped from, Portland is a portal town where it feels like the negativity from others, sexual violence, other hatred, racism, classism, materialism, a lot of stuff going on in today's societies, it's like it attracts negative entities. And there are people walking around these days with attachments. Whatever they're doing with these stage wars are an attempt to turn people to the dark side so they can maintain their power dark grid. Are other things coming in that could collapse that? What does the sun have to do with that or other energies? These are questions worth asking. These are questions I ask myself. I don't have all the answers. But you know what? Solar flares impact human beings. And that energy coming in, ooh, it's magical. And I can't see how it's used for dark purposes. And I can't see how during solar flares there are false flags and wars that are staged. Again, the solar cycles and the war cycles, sure, some of it's a res you know, biological response to the sun, men warring with each other. Then there's the aspect above government, the dark occultists, as they've been referred to, that possess this knowledge, that use this knowledge of the sun cycles as a weapon against the population. Creating, manufacturing certain events when there are solar flares, oh, we haven't seen any examples of that. And if you think about it, what I'm talking about, and you monitor when there's geomagnetic storms, and you monitor when there's a Boston bombing, and you monitor when there's a false flag, and you monitor when there's a pattern of certain events and violent protests where people seem to be losing their shit, and boom, that light bulb goes off above your head, and you see the connection between civil unrest, people feeling it, people being, no, 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 hell no, we won't go, and whether you like it or don't like it, whether it's a positive expression of energy, hey, let's have a big party, or just a big mob, people beating each other, race war, people hit dudes, girlfriends, just all chaos breaking through. Regardless whether you see it as positive, you'll see a pattern if you start paying attention to it. So I want to contribute this solar flare knowledge and information. This September, I'm going to work on a rough cut two-hour film that's going to bring together a lot of the things I've mentioned over the years. I'm going to try to be as professional as possible in my presentation with slides, with original music, with video, and it's going to knock my one-hour presentation out of the park that was done at the Free Your Mind conference that was done in haste because I had to jump over a lot of information. I feel this is important to maybe uh, a deeper understanding of what's going on potentially with CERN. Okay, so if CERN, if whatever's going on here, you know, CERN using the, the logo, Shiva the Destroyer, and all the occult symbolism, if they are, in fact, trying to open a portal, hmm, it happens to correlate with this period of time that we're going to be at the tail end of the solar cycle. We're at solar cycle 24. A couple years ago, NASA came out and said, this is going to be a double peak like the last couple of cycles, which means instead of most of the solar flares being, you know, concentrated around a year or two, it's spread out over a period of like five, six years, and it has been, really. We started seeing solar flares rising up in the solar cycle around 2010. I wrote an article uh, in 2009 um, about the solar cycles in the Earth's weakening magnetic field. I was uh, 28, 29 at the time on my birthday, beginning my Saturn return. And I feel like that was a wake-up call, that part of my own life experience is to learn more about the sun and share teachings about the sun. Not just be this, you know, conspiracy researcher looking at other things, or to be an activist or humanitarian or a philosopher, but to actually understand the science itself. 
And so in, this, uh, in the continuation of my lifetime, I'm going to be developing a website and making a film discussing more information and sharing documents and articles. You know, people should know that they've done studies on this stuff, on geomagnetic storms linked to suicides, new scientists. But back to the conversation about portals and CERN. There are ghost hunting organizations that go out and do their recordings during geomagnetic storms because past attempts have shown that they're getting more response, getting those voices on the tape. And I, I came across this in a blog or a website, and you know the light bulb goes off above my head and more of the picture becomes clear, at least it, in my consciousness, it feels that way, and, and how it's boosting so much of what's already there. Unfortunately, some people hear what I'm saying and think I'm like blaming the sun, or in other cases, I see people fearing the sun. And you've seen it too, in this talk of, you know, get sunscreen, S sun will give you cancer, and yet we find out some of these sun creams are full of cancer, especially if they're from Walmart. And I explain this to people. And how many female friends have I explained this to? The Walmart creams you can't trust. You think it's going to say it has cancer in it on the actual, on, on the actual um, container? During this period of energy shift, I'm eating less meat. I'm drinking more green superfood. I'm drinking more tea. I'm meditating more. I just moved, as some of you know, I'm about to embark on a documentary film relating to the geopolitical situation. Okay, and instead of run my mouth and say, I'm going to do this and that, I'm just going to do it, and I'm going to use the creative energy that I'm feeling and the power and creativity, and I'm sleeping good, and I'm going to sleep by 9 o'clock, and I'm up by 5.30, and I'm feeling a deeper connection with animals and plants, and I'm feeling more distant than the, than the part of myself that felt trapped in Portland. And in this stream of consciousness... And while I still have a YouTube channel, thank God for the, for the gifts that we have to share this knowledge. I've got to share with you that, hey, you guys got your focus on September and CERN. Do you also know about the solar cycles and how they affect human consciousness? Do you know about the ghost hunters that do their stuff during solar flares? Are you able to maybe keep your eyes open on anything that may give us a bigger picture? Because they're obviously, this is verifying what people have been saying about the sun and portals and the sun and consciousness, not just what I've been saying, but others, it, it, it shows that, yes, there's focus on this period of time, the tail end of this double peak solar cycle, last few solar cycles being double peaks, double peak being late 2015, all this focus on Jade Helm and CERN, so I just want to put that out there, and that is something to fear ultimately from the solar energy, we can understand how the dark occultists use it to stage wars, stage false flags, and try to create portals to bring forth dark negative entities that may be just outside of our Earth's atmosphere. Another topic for another time, but speaking from the heart, there's something trying to come in, there's something they're trying to let in. Whether you choose to believe it or not, as someone else has quoted it, it's not necessarily what we believe, it's what they believe. Clearly, there are some sort of attempts to bring something through. Is there something to this? Well, what's going on with human consciousness today? And all the rising acts of violence, not just the staged event, but people acting like they're possessed on the subways and the manufactured gender wars and some of the things that you and I are seeing in people in the cities. We're seeing people are just, they're out to lunch. And somehow we're in this human experience right now in this particular period of time of, of darkness and light where we are becoming aware of it. And there is duality on this realm. It's not just all love and light. There is some nastiness rising in human consciousness on a collective level, that is, right, that deals with anti-humanism, anti-love, anti-faith, and anything greater than just our own little pleasures. It's like a spirit of, like, debauchery and nastiness. I've seen a lot of that in Portland, men and women, in the last couple of years. I shared about it. Other people said, Alex, it's not Portland. It's everywhere. It seems to be a global epidemic of the narcissist sociopath rising. That's also another reason many people are not choosing to go back in the workplace. It's not because they don't have any skills or they don't want to work. They don't want to be around these demon children anymore that have jockeyed their way into positions of power and control. And in this particular day and age, they seem to be everywhere where there is an authority or a manager or someone in charge. It's like just a network of sociopaths. As perhaps these portals... 
relating to the sun, natural portals opening from the solar cycle. Each solar cycle, new epochs, epochs, cycles of time, cycles of change, cycles of the sun, each epoch, especially in certain geographic areas, bring different dark spiritual entities to humanity to tempt it, to control it, to attack it. And I've sensed this stuff over Portland. I'm not sure how I cut myself. Must be from hard work in the garden, maybe. But uh, overall, folks, there is a connection here with CERN, the solar flares and portals. Can't prove it, but my intuition is surely there. The Jade Helm is a massive distraction. It's also a drill for later activities. It, in and of itself, isn't going down this September. But if they get people focused on disinformation that's out there that seems tangible just because we feel that something's there, I think there's a trap in falling for the trap. This is a time where a lot of magical possibilities could take place. Things could be created. Things could be launched forward. The hijacking of consciousness is trying to direct people towards the false event, and I do not believe an asteroid is coming in September. I do believe this is disinformation, and that I do need to tell my friends that, that are in the research community, that they are attempting archonically, even if you're talking about archons, to take your consciousness to fake news. I warn thee. These events are fabricated during the tail end of this solar cycle to control our creative thought and potential, and that's the note that we'll end this on. Thank you for watching.